Final segment of our 2022 A season preview show. Brody Brazil with Pip Roberts. This is usually the time we make some predictions, but to be honest, with so much change, turnover, and transition, we're going to shy away from that this season. We're going to give you some things to watch in three different categories. You ready for pitcher to watch Let's first? Let's do it. Let's can do I it. start? You start, please. Can I, can I throw out the name James Caprillion? Now, rookie last season, really strong start to his MLB career. He kind of ran out of gas in the later months, but he was so strong and solid in the first couple months. But the bigger picture is that he had success. He realized he belongs at this level. And I think the ultimate compliment I could give him, he's very Bassett-like. He worked his way through starts, he was resilient, and I truly feel like he's got a similar trajectory to Chris Bassett, and that's a very good thing. Yeah, success breeds confidence. He's seen the league before. Yes. He now knows exactly what it takes to be successful. I think because now he has that year under his belt, he's going to come back a different ball player, more confident knowing that if I just pitch my game, I will have success. The team will be behind me. A high rotation guy. Now, your pitcher to watch is from the bullpen? Yeah, Lou Trevino. Yes, right. yes. So we're closing. Yes, yes, he's my guy okay. because there are going to be games where he has to come in and get the job done. The A's, we know there's, like you said earlier, there's a lot of changes. So yeah. we don't know how many runs they're going to score right. games. But when they have these games and they're leading after a certain amount of innings, seven, eight, nine, right. he's going to have to get the job done. That's key to the A's W's and it's key to A's losses. Trevino last season had some success, had some struggles at the end. But overall, I think he's a player who we know what he's capable of. That, yeah. that bar has definitely been set. Okay, let's get into our hitter to watch. I'll let you start, and I bet you're going to go with the veteran guy. I'm going with Elvis Andrus. Yeah, that's a good one. Because, again, this guy came over last year. He was hurt. He had a back issue, and he was struggling a little bit. Yeah. And I think he was struggling a little bit because he put a lot of pressure on himself. Right. Having to fill the shoes of a Marcus Simeon. New team. Routine. Expectations. All of that. Everybody's yep. expected him to right. be this great player. Right. I watched him in Texas. He was a great player. He right. always showed up. He played hard. He had some injuries at the end of the season. Yep. Hopefully he's over them, and he comes out, and he shows you what kind of player he can be. He had that ankle injury around right. third base at the Coliseum. Yes. One of the final home games of the year. I'm just glad the surgery, the recovery, it timed out well. He's back. He's ready to go. Kind of a fresh start, but also a familiar start for Elvis Andrews. I'll go with Sean Murphy as my hitter to watch. Now, he was the American League 2021 Gold Glove catcher last year. Wait, that's a defensive award. What's that have to do with the bat? <laughs> Absolutely nothing, but my point is his defensive work came around last year. I think this might be the year that his bat comes around. We know he's capable of it. Look at that power. He's got easy pop and I truly feel like he could be a middle of the order guy if the offense and the long balls come consistently so I'm gonna go with Sean Murphy and I honestly I the other choice I was gonna have was Elvis Andrews yeah so between Andrews and Murph I think we've got two good hitters to watch all right let's get into our storylines to watch for 2022 and let me begin with this if you're the Oakland A's you want to avoid unraveling we know there's been turnover we know there's been transition and change and we know that every team like good teams are going to lose games you just don't want to string together a bunch of losses you want to minimize the damage if the a's do that morale will stay good and their standing in the standings will be respectable yeah and the way you stay away from losing streaks like that yeah is that if you have more runs than the other team after seven innings yeah your setup guy and your closer they have to get the job done. This is kind of your theme. I could tell it a lot, yeah, huh? Yeah, you have to win games that you should win. If you're leading after the seventh inning, you've got to win that game. Yeah. You can't give that game up. Because if you go out there and you make one bad pitch, that's going to be the difference between a W and an L. And right now, you need as many Ws yeah. as possible. There's a whole lot going on with the Oakland A's. Change, transition, Howard Terminal. There's going to be a lot to pay attention to this season. We can't wait to be there with you all summer long to live it through. For Biff Roberts, I'm Brody Brazil. See you on opening day.